but first, to physics. I invite you to enter a place called quantum logic. Quantum is a big word, I know, but I want to make this easy. So let's think of quantum as experience, direct personal experience, experiential logic, or quantum logic. Usually we use classical logic. This works on expectation and belief, symbolic thought processes, imposing categories, this or that, right or wrong, either or, black or white. Quantum logic works in the realm of experience. The concept of knowing that nothing is either this or that, there is always at least one more alternative, and often an unlimited number of them. I want to share an example of this from Gary Zukov's book The Dancing Wulai Masters as a proof for the validity of quantum logic. The example Zukov uses is demonstrated with light. Light will pass through horizontal and vertical polarized filters as picket fences either horizontally or vertically set. Only vertical light gets through, or only horizontal light gets through. Used together, no light gets through. All light is filtered out. We know horizontal light has been filtered through the horizontal filter, and vertical light is filtered after by the vertical filter. So now all light is blocked. What expectation do we have of putting a diagonal filter in front of the horizontal or after the vertical filter? It makes no difference. All light is still blocked. What expectation, based on our previous observation with horizontal and vertical filters, do we have of what will happen if we place a diagonal filter between the horizontal and vertical filters? You may think this will cause no difference, but placing a diagonal filter between the horizontal and vertical filters allows all light to pass again. How can this be? Classical logic says it cannot. If all light was filtered with horizontal and vertical filters, why does diagonal between them make a difference? We do not understand today, but we experience this reality. The experience of quantum logic says it can. The difference is caused by our thought processes, which follow rules of classical logic. Intellect tells us what we are seeing is impossible, yet we are seeing it. We are experiencing it. To me, this proves reality is based on experience. Our perception co-creates it all the time. Truth is perception. In this quantum place of experience, there are many dimensions, not just the three we are used to. There is up and down, and another place in between, and a place in between that, and so on. There is black and white and every shade of gray. There are many rooms in the quantum mansion. Using quantum logic, there is an accounting for, a validation of, and an appreciation for the all, the whole. Validation of direct personal experience. And, as it turns out, experience doesn't follow the rules of classical logic. It follows the rules of quantum logic. So I encourage you to get out into the field and experience crop formations for yourself.